programa for tonight. And once again, we are in different platforms. Kung mapuno naman ng Zoom, we still have Facebook and YouTube. So make sure that you have your notes ready because we're in for some amazing epic action na matututunan ngayong gabi. But before anything else, I would love to emphasize that this is with the initiative na talagang matuto tayo, no? This is crafted by the IDC or the Independent Distributor Council na talagang para matuto talaga tayo in a more professional and world-class way, they crafted this amazing course, o diba? Para talaga to jumpstart our business, right? But before anything else, I would love to call on the ravishing and gorgeous Senior Sales and Marketing Manager, Ms. Joyce Ramuliosa, for some few announcement and news. Ms. Joyce, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Maries. No, every night, talaga, every Saturday night, I love the energy. And also, um, I love how you engage our um, associates, especially those who are new in the business. So, maraming salamat, Maries. And good evening to Yusana, uh, Yusana uh, family around the world. No, hindi na lang siya Yusana Philippines. Uh, meron dito uh, dual citizen from Singapore and Butuan City. Welcome. No? And again, as Maries mentioned, I'm Joyce Ramaliosa. I'm the Senior Sales Manager for Yusana Philippines. And I'd like to welcome each and every one of you uh, to our new distributors orientation. Uh, in fact, this is the seventh night, seventh Saturday Saturday night that we have been um, inspiring and uh, informing and in fact educating all our new associates of um, how are we going to uh, do the business not just this the, not not the not the skills no but definitely the mindset and the attitude towards it so uh, if this is the first time that you're hearing this please type 100 in our chat box para makita naman natin dito sino yung mga first time Hi Ruby, Joel. Ayan. Ironclad. Yeah, parang si Ironclad laging laging nang dito ha, yung mga ano, yung mga team members na yan. So, the reason why I'm asking is that um I'd like to um to ask all of you, no, th this first time who will be hearing this to have a a really um uh an open uh, mind not just an open mind but um be like a sponge no i absorb natin siya lahat because this um this uh information this uh, module or this uh training for tonight um hindi lang naman yan ginawa overnight no these are compilations of experiences not just by one um associate but to the many associates who have been uh, with Yusana throughout the years and talagang na-prove natin no, na, that these experiences have um, uh, taken them to where they are right now. No? Hindi lang siya uh, as diamonds, no? as, as uh, gold directors, hindi lang sa ranks, no? but really it has changed a lot of lives here in our business. And speaking of that, no, here at Yusana, we are uh, on our first night no ng um ating fourth quarter. So grabe ang bilis no talagang kakakanta lang ni Jose Marichan but right now we are um approaching the end of the year and I'm very very optimistic na hindi pa po ito yung huli no. Actually ngayon pa lang po tayo nag-uumpisa. Ngayon tayo talaga um gumagalaw no at ngayon tayo talaga na mobilize at na-energize na na so that no uh, makuha natin yung ating um, goals na sinet from the start of the year. Diba? Alam naman natin no, na um, uh, more than the, the promise that you made to, to your teammates, to your uplines, to the corporate, ang pinakamalagang promise is the one that you made to yourself. No? So please do not shortchange yourself. Please um, uh, be like a sponge as I mentioned tonight no kung ito yung feeling mo na makaka-refire sa yo yung makaka-ignite ng passion mo if this is something that you would um you would want to um promote to your group no please do so marami pa po tayong space dito sa Zoom marami pa rin po tayong space sa Facebook Live so with that maraming salamat po and I'll turn it over back to our host for tonight thank you Maries Thank you so much, gorgeous and ravishing Miss Joyce Romoliosa. And there you have it, guys. Isn't it empowering that we created this amazing platform for your great success? So nakakatawa talaga that our leaders in our Yuzana family created this para talaga lahat tayo geared for 
ultimate glory and success natin. And sabi nga nila, diba, Bermans na ngayon, and kakakanta lang ni Jose Marie Chan. So, will you make your Christmas and New Year merry? Because you will truly catapult yourself to great milestone kapag talaga in-apply natin ang mga matututunan tonight. Okay? So, I know that you are all ready. Oh, diba? <laughs> Wow, diba? Mga blooming tayo ngayon like the flower. So let's bloom together as we learn. And as we learn, we earn as well. So sa mga nagagandahan at nagwagwapuhan natin coaches and fellow associates, could you please type ready before na natin i-welcome officially ang ating napakagaling na keynote speaker. So I would love to see it in the chat box. O diba? Mapa-Facebook man yan, YouTube, and also in Zoom. We would love to have epic engagement. So feel free to comment, to engage via the chat box. And just in case maging, uh, let's say, medyo intermittent connection, you could type 888. So you could call my attention and also alert our uh, corporate and also make waves to making it right. Okay? Now we're all ready and I'm so excited to introduce our speaker. But before anything else, just like what we do, uh, de ba? Talagang ano muna tayo? Posture check. And of course, learning mode check. Uh, de ba? Hi, DJ Axel. I can see, uh, Coach Edwin over there. Uh, de ba? I'm calling you. Uh, de ba? Nakakatawa na talaga. Lahat kayo ay ready ready na. So can we see our notebook and pen para makita talaga na ready ready ang mode natin? Uh, de ba? DJ Joven in the house in yellow. Oh, di ba? I love it. Pinakita talaga ang gaganda notebook. Feeling ko talaga. Nandiyan talaga yung milestone of ano natin, no? Progress and growth. Now we can be ready for us to listen to our keynote speaker. And this is their cool, cool story. So when he joined Yuzana, he was then a third year college student at Mapua. So sa mga engineer here, kawai-kawai. And he was then a tennis player of the NCAA and used to do the business after school. Wow, entrepreneur, even uh, studyante pa lang. And he was able to hit the gold rank while still in college. So he never applied for a job. Didn't even get his transcript, imagine, from a Pua. And when it comes to his milestone and growth, he became a diamond in just six years, six-time AP Growth Qualifier, two-time Diamond Summit Qualifier, Executive Two-Star Diamond Director, and Top 3 Income Earner. Ladies and gents, family and friends, the entire Yusana family from all over the world, uh, let's please type 1,000 as we welcome our keynote speaker for tonight, none other than Mentor Raj Soggy. A big round of applause there. Thank you so much. Mentor Raj, the floor is yours. All right. Hello, guys. Good evening. All right. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. All right. So we have uh, associates from all over the world here. All right, so don't worry, nagtatagalog ako, all right, if, if it's your first time seeing me. Okay, so, um, yeah, so welcome to everyone who just joined you, Sana. Before we start, uh, thank you for that introduction, no? Uh, very energetic as always, so that I could keep up yung energy na yun. Okay, um, and of course, hindi parang radio yung voice, parang sabi nung kanina nag-comment, no? Parang nakikinig lang na radio kanina yung post, eh. So, ang galing. So, all right, but thank you for that introduction. And first of all, can, can I know, sino yung mga nag-join lang today? Can you type one if you just joined today? Right? And can you type two if you joined within the week? All right? Kung ngayon ka lang nag-join. And, uh, you know, so probably it's your first time listening to the NDO. Okay, so ang daming nag-join din today and, in, and within the week. So welcome to everyone, all right, who just joined. Um, sure ba kayo sa decision nyo? Hindi pa kayo nagsisisi? Okay, so wala nang atrasan to, right? So you're you're here in the business, right? So now it's time to learn, di ba? Ano ba yung meron sa, sa business sa pinasok nyo? Okay, um, so b- before before we start, siguro kwento ko lang konti, no? Um, of course, marami dito yung nag-join. Siguro yung iba, you know, um, pin- pinilit lang mag-join. Yung iba siguro ginilty na, sige na, mag-join ka na, friends naman tayo. Meron ba mga ganun? Or yung parang, sige na, Ano, para, ano, umutang ka para mag-join, di ba? So, umutang naman, nag-join naman, di ba? So, ako ganun din nung nag-start ako, 
uh, hindi ko alam kung gagawin ko ba sa sana ng seryoso or not. So I was one of the people who joined the business ng try-try lang. Diba? Sino dito yung try-try lang? Can you type try? <laughs> diba kung try-try lang to? Diba? So it's okay kasi nung pag-start mo, hindi ka naman talaga seryoso. So ako hindi ako seryoso. Right? Because I didn't know what was I really getting into. Sabi daw, kikita ako, sabi daw, you know, I could earn 100,000, 200,000, whatever the amount was. Sabi ko, okay, sounds nice. Try ko, anyway, bibili lang naman ako ng vitamins and honestly, bonus lang naman yung business. Right? So, because subukan ko. Kung mag-work, okay. Kung hindi, di okay lang din. Because that time, I was studying uh, in Mapua and taking computer engineering. Alright? So, meron pa tayong mga students here. Can you type S if you're a student? Right, good job if you're a student and yet you're you know building a business. Wow, we have lots of students. All right, so welcome to you, Sana guys. Okay, so um, anong yari? But ako biglang medyo nag naseryoso sa you, Sana. Why I kind of thought now I'll, I'll give it a shot. Kasi no una again try lang after school whatever you know if it works great. And then I was in this one meeting, okay, nasa restaurant, and there was this guy from US na yun yung yun yung pinaka apply natin. And kasama si Abed Miguel, si Absnat, you know, and then he was discussing. So, sabi ko, parang sino tong guy na to? Yeah, he's foreigner, but, you know, um, so what? And then, in-explain na sa akin yung, in-explain na sa amin yung uh, potential earning and ano yung meron sa'yo sana. So, ako naman, medyo na-curious ako kasi in-explain niya ano yung pwedeng mangyari. So, that guy was doing the business for about eight, nine years na that time. And sabi niya, yung income daw niya super lumaki in that span of time. So, pinapakita niya sa amin. And he was a three-star diamond director. So, hindi ko naman alam ano yung three-star diamond director. Mali ko ba? So, if you just join, you probably don't know what the director, goal director, lahat yung jargons for you. So, ganun din sa akin. Tapos, sabi niya, as a three-star daw, may weekly commissions. So, ang weekly commissions ng three-star diamond, guys, is $7,000 per week. Eh, ang income nga ng isang nurse sa US is about four or $5,000 a month. And this guy was earning $7,000 a week. Sabi nga, you could earn that here in the Philippines. Ito na ka. And he was also earning um, may leadership bonus. Eh. Meron siyang leadership bonus of around $5,000 a week din yun. Sabi mo, okay, parang seryoso ba to? So basically, he was averaging mga what $20,000, $25,000 a month. Hindi ko seryo sa $25,000 a month. Maybe in a year, that's about, what, $300,000? Eh kung nasa, nasa US ka nga na, kung nasa US ka, you're earning $100,000. That's huge. So din ako medyo parang napaisip kasi in peso, diba, that's a huge amount of money. Diba? So na-excite ako doon. Yes, you know, Simon Chan. So na-excite ako. Sabi ko, okay to ha. Sige nga, parang let's, let's dig into it. Diba? Paano ba mag-work to? Kasi as an engineer, guys, I would never be able to earn something like that here in the Philippines. Even nga, pumunta na ako ng Singapore or Australia, US, malabo pa, malabo pa din. Diba? Pero if I could do that here, and sabi niya, Raj, pwede mo gawin yan kahit mag-part-time ka. Like, okay. Sige nga, pag-aralan nga natin to Seryoso ba to So, din ako medyo unang napaisip. Okay? So, if you join here because you want to start a business, right? This is one of the perfect business you could start na pwede mong gawing part-time. Okay? And so to share my slide, syempre sa lahat sa inyo, merong nag-invite sa'yo sana. Okay? And I'm telling you guys, um, thank the person who invited you. Okay? So no, nag-invite sa'yo. Bakit? Kasi nag-invite sa'kin, hindi ko kilala. Kung kilala mo yan, great. Pinush ka niya, you know, you trust this person, great. Ako, hindi ko kilala si mentor na. So, you know, somehow, you know, uh, na-invite kami, you know, online, and then pumunta kami sa office, nakinig kami sa presentation, and nag-join. Diba? And ito si mentor na that time. So, di ko alam kung maniniwala ba ako na pwede akong kumita or not. Diba? He was working in Shangri-La Hotel, cleaning room. So, I was like, okay, sige, try ko lang anyway, bibili lang naman ako ng vitamins. Okay? So, sabi, eh, siya din, ang nakakatawa sa kanya, imagine, sabi ko kung siya nga nagawa niya, He was a room boy attendant. Gumawa to ng pera, gumawa to ng paraan. He borrowed the money from like three, four people ng credit card. Diba? Binili niya yung products. After two months, nabayaran niya. Eight months later, he was a gold director. Sabi ko, kung kaya niya, baka kaya ko din. Right? And true enough, later on, you know, he became, um, you know, one of the top income earners ng Yusana Philippines. 
Diba? And doon ko na-realize, sabi ko, hindi naman pala kailangan ng college degree para kumita ng malaki dito sa iyo sana. Right? So whatever your background is right now, guys, it doesn't matter. So in you sana, it's a level playing field. That's what I really like about this. Diba? So nasa left side, si Mentor Ryan, si Mentor Nat, sa gitna, nagturo sa amin. And ako, you know, engineer, nasa likod si Clark, right? Um, ano, CPA naman siya. And all of us at one point, wanted to quit you sana. Right? Kasi hindi namin naintindihan. So when we attend the training, marami akong na-meet sa you sana. Iba-iba mga backgrounds. So hindi lang like si Mentor Nat. Marami mga rags to riches stories here in you sana. Diba like si Mentor Gio Bakilod? You know, he's a high school graduate from Samar, nag-work as a security guard sa Singapore. Diba? So, he, meron siya mga double shift na mga work na ginagawa doon as a security guard. And of course, wala siyang time. Wala naman siyang background to do this. And yet, when I met him, diba, four-star diamond director, sabi ko, again, kung kaya niya, alam mo yung tumataas yung belief ko, if, if he can do this, and willing naman siya ituro sa akin kung paano, sabi ko, di, why not? Meron pa dito mga young entrepreneurs. Diba? So these kids are like, what, 24, 25 year olds, 23 years old? Diba? Even yung one of the youngest, right, the youngest diamond director in the USANA universe, right, si Jericho Orlina, is a Filipino. Diba? Na from Philippines, nag-migrate to Canada, right, he worked on the business, nagpaturo siya sa apply niya. Diba? And in just two years, he's now a one-star diamond director. Hindi na alam diamond director. Diba? And, and he's, as a, as a, as a di- one-star diamond director, the guy's making $20,000 a month. Diba? So even if nasa Canada ka, malaki yun. Sino dito ang gustong kumita ng $20,000 a month while in the Philippines? Diba? Magkana yun? That's 2 million pesos. Sorry, 1 million pesos a month. Diba? Pwede na. Right? So these guys are 24, 25 years old. Si Jericho, I think 22 years old. Right? We have IT professionals who are doing the business. Mentor Rich, he was a SAP consultant. Right? Uh, si Gabe, IT professional, na nung nag-graduate siya, sweldo lang niya was 12,000 kasi he was working for a startup company. Right? Um, si Diana Riario, uh, she was uh, working in a nice company and she was earning close to $100,000 sa work niya. Or actually more than $100,000. So magaling. But in Yusana, she's an emerald director. Right? Mentor Caleb Ed Pau, iba BS Math graduate, nag-work lang siya for like, what, six months? And sabi niya, ayoko mag-work, he found Yusana, right? And he's now doing great things. But we have teachers, mga from the academe. Meron ba mga teachers dito? Can you type T? Right? If you're a teacher. So we have, for example, si Ms. Badet. She was a dean sa FPU. Yung ginagawa niya yung sana. Right? Si Doc uh, Edu Bolaños. Right? Who's here? Di ba? Hi, Doc Edu. So, Um, si Doc Edo naman, associate professor sa Lasal. I mean, yeah, he was earning more than 100,000 siguro sa Lasal. Diba? Pero right now, he's a one-star diamond director. That's $5,000 a week. And no university is willing to pay him kahit kano kadami pang PhD yung meron ka. No one's gonna pay you $20,000 a month while you're here. Right? So iba yung background na gagawa to. We have accountants. Diba si Ms. Tina Rodil, she was working dati sa Baco Central of Philippines. Right. Yeah, she was earning great, di ba? Parang ang um, narinig ko, she was earning $100,000, $200,000 there. Pero five, six years later in Yusana, she's an Emerald director, earning how much? $3,000 a week? Ang Emerald? The $600,000 pesos a month? Right? Not bad. Again, hindi naman siya, feeling ko, willing bayaran ng BSP ng $600,000 every month. Di ba? In just five years, walang ganong promotion from $200,000 to $500,000. Right? We have entrepreneurs, mga business owners. Diba? Parang si Mentor Ranel, who is our top income earner right now in Sana. Dati, he had, has, had a b- very big pharmaceutical distribution. Na kinakwento niya na, alam mo yung meron pa siya mga medreps? So kung may medrep ka, may masasakyan ka na kailangan mo bilhin, kailangan mo bayaran. Diba? So, madami mo mga inventories. Ngayon sa Yusana, full-time na ginagawa ko. So probably, may nakita siya dito. Diba? Si Sir Lincoln Lim, na meron siya ng Uh, president siya ng Toy- uh, Toyota Commonwealth, di ba? Meron din siyang Toyota sa Quezon app. Right? So kung, kung meron na sila mga ganyan, ba't pa sila nag So probably, they saw something right in the business. Okay? Ito yung pinasok mong business. We have athletes who are doing the business. We have nurses. Right? Um, si Mentor Ryan, for example, um, nurse na dapat pupunta ng uh, Australia to work. And right now, it's a two-star diamond. 
Iba si Deus, who was a cum laude, iba in working in a call center. Right? So, okay naman cum laude. Yeah, he was smart. Iba pero sa call center, he was earning 30,000 a month. After two years of working, wala naman siyang ipon. Iba ganun naman, kahit kumikita ka ng 30,000, ah, hindi mo naman, wala ka naman talaga ng ipon. So, he started doing the USANA business and right now, he's doing great. We have even doctors. Di ba mahirap i-convince sa mga doctors? Right? But even doctors are doing the business. For example, si Doc Melina Di Cueco, right? she's a pediatrician. Yung kinakwento nga niya, um, as a pediatrician, syempre, the more patients na meron, mas malaki ang income. Pag konti ang patients, malak- malit ang income. So, ibig sabihin, kailan marami ka rin clients. Tama? So, gusto mo kumita na mas malaki, dapat mas pagod ka. E for her, sabi niya, hanggang kailan kung gagawin yan? Diba? So, ginagawa niya yung business. Ngayon, sabi niya, she can get less patients, give more care to the patients. Kasi passion pa rin na yun. Pero she gets her income from Usana. Right? So, basically, Usana gives you options. Right? Si Doc Cha. Right? Meron na siyang 7-Eleven franchise. Right? Meron siyang bus company. Diba? Orthopedic surgeon na, you know, nag-aral pa sa New York State. Right? Yeah, she's good. Maraming options. Pero bakit na ginagawa pa yung Yusana? I eh, may nakita siya something good in the business. Pwede naman hindi gawin yung business eh. Pwede naman gumagamit lang siya ng vitamins eh. Right? So these people saw something. Right? Nasabi ko, okay, kung ginagawa nila, di dapat, ginagawa ko din. Diba? Kaya pala yung mayaman, lalong yung mayaman. Because they keep adding more sources. Right? So tonight, guys, I'm gonna discuss with you, especially if you're new, okay, how you could earn those kinds of income sa Yusana. Ano ba yung mga first steps? What do you need to know? What do you need to learn about the business? All right. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, can you type R? If you're ready. Okay, so pag-uusapan na natin how you're going to be successful in this business. Okay? All right, let's go. So firstly, I want to share with you this quote. Sabi ni Richard Branson, so Richard Branson is, you know, one of the billionaires, okay, in the world. And sabi niya, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure if you can do it, say yes, then learn how to do it. Which is basically, lahat tayo, yun yung ginawa. Diba? Sabi sa atin, uy, may opportunity dyan, sige, simulan mo tayo, parang sige. O ngayon, paano natin gagawin? Honestly, in every business, ganyan. Diba? Hindi naman pwedeng, pag-aralan ko muna lahat, paano mo magpatakpo ng restaurant? Pag alam ko na lahat, ni-research ko na lahat, after 10 years, saka ako magbubukas ng restaurant. Wala naman ganun. Diba? You have an idea, you start, and you learn as you go. Tama mali. Right? And right now, USANA is one of the perfect businesses to start. Kasi, sinabi ni Bill Gates, which was what, more than 10, 20, 10 to 15 years ago. Sabi niya, if your business is not on the internet, then your business will be out of business. And you see that happening all over. Right? Pero ano nangyari sa Yusana? Yusana was always prepared. We have an app, we have a website, diba? we have the whole system set up. Diba? And thanks to Zoom, we don't even need to meet up. Pwede na sa Zoom, we could, you know, we could earn. Tama? So tama yung sinasabi ni Bill Gates and Yusana was ready for it. Okay? So ngayon, share ko lang sa inyo, ba't ako nag-join ng Yusana? Parang, yeah, I joined, you know, yung sabi ko, try, try. Pero but why did I even try? Okay. First of all, kasi nakita ko to before. So matagal na to, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this before. You, you have seen this. So ito naman, according to Nenda, to na nakita ko before. Sabi nila, for you to have a simple and comfortable life, kailangan daw ang income mo, 120,000 naman. Ngayon, ano yung puzzling sa akin dyan, guys, is this? 120,000 pesos a month for me when I was a student, feeling ko yan, mayaman. Hindi yan comfortable, hindi yan simple. Kasi isipin mo guys, sa so work mo ngayon, ilang years bago, bago ko umabot ng 120,000 pesos a month? Diba it takes time? Mahirap yan eh. That's not a manager's position. Mas mataas pa yan eh. Diba it takes about a lot of experience. Kailangan mo mag-masters and diba? Ang dami pag-aaralan for that. And so sabi ko, simple lang ba yan? Talaga? So even if six figures na yung income ko, hindi pa rin ako consider na mayaman. Diba? Simple lang. So in short, sabi ng NEDA, okay, to translate this, Kung hindi 120,000 ang income mo per month, hindi simple at hindi komportable ang buhay mo right now. Grabe no, pinagtsatsaga mo lang, pinagkakasya mo lang. Ikaw, yung ko naman gawin yun. Right? And that hurts kasi the government ni nagsabi nun eh. So if you're earning 50,000 right now, di ba, okay magalit sa akin ha, sabi ng NEDA, di ba, nagtsatsaga ka lang. Hindi ka komportable. 
I guess no. Tapos may breakdown. Sabi yung 5,000 daw for a car. Wala na bang 5,000 pesos ng car. May nakita na ba kayo 5,000 ng monthly mortification for a car? Walang ganun. Diba? Hindi ko alam. Kahit ang China car, walang ganyan eh. Right? Uh, 30,000 for a medium size home. Diba? So may breakdown lahat yan. So ginawa ko, gagawa, sabi ko, gawa din ako ng sarili ko. Right? And then dito nga nakasulat 10,000 for college education. Sabi ko, 10,000 for college education. Definitely, kung mapuha yan, hindi kasha. Kasi when I was in Mapua, that was, I graduated 2012, right? So that was nine years ago. I was, ang tuition fee was 100, like 35, 40,000 uh, per quarter, a four cents. It was mga 160 plus mga kanon pa mga gasas, 200,000 um, a year. Eh magkano lang to? 120 lang to. So kulang na. Right? So gumawa ako ng sarili ko. Na parang ano ba yung goals ko? Alam mo, excited na rin ako. Third year college na ako. Yan eh. Alam mo yung feeling ko pag third year college, pag graduate ko, ako na yung magbabayad ng bills, ako na yung bagasos lahat. Mom, dad, you know, I'll pay for our travels. Di ba, mayroon ako sa ilip kong condo. I can be independent. Sino ganun yung feeling? Di ba, I can be independent once I graduate. Di ba? But parang it didn't happen. Di ba? So, yun yung, yun yung sinasabi kasi sa college eh. Di ba? Mag-aral ka mabuti and you can be anything you want. That's true. Pero limited. So ako, gumawa ako ng goals. Ako, ano ba yung gusto ko? Ano ba yung goal ko? Right? So gumawa ka ng pang, pang basic goal. Sabi ko, number one, gusto ko ng condo pag graduate. Excited ako dyan. Diba? Alam mo, independent living. Diba? I can get, stay on my own. Right? Uwi lang ako pag weekend. Diba? Yun ang usual mga idea. Right? So me, myself, and I, no? So sabi ko, 5 million na condo, hindi yan malaking condo. Just a basic, you know, one-bedroom condo lang yan. Okay? So hindi naman yan Shangri-La property car na 2 million, kasi goal ko to in 10 years. Sabi ko, 2 million na car, basically, fortuner lang naman yan eh. Hindi naman yung BMW or Ferrari. Tama? Basic. Sabi ko, as an engineer, dapat afford ko yan. And savings sa 2 million. Sabi ko, after 10 years, at least, meron man lang ako security na 2 million. So, 9 million yung goal ko. Okay, so, excited ako dyan. Okay? And hindi siya malaking pangarap. Sabi ko, kaya kaya dapat yan. So, I had never done this before. By accident ko lang to ginawa that time. Alam ko sa iyo sana, we always share this. So guys, pinumpute ko. Sabi ko, tsatsagayin ko, sige, magsisave ako. Alam mo, inisip ko, how fast can I get there? Parang 9 million, kaya ba in 5 years? Kaya ba in 6 years? Diba? Ano ba yung um, hard work na ibibigay ko? Okay, so sabi ko, if I start saving 10,000 every month, kasi the only thing you can do is save. So you save 10,000 a month, in 10 years, 1.2 million. Kasi in a year, 120,000. In 10 years, 1.2. Right? So in short, ang narealize ko guys dyan ito. So kung nakakapag-save ka ng 10,000 right now, it's useless. Yeah, nice, you're saving 10,000, yeah, okay. Pero wala pala siyang pupuntahan. Kalokohan lang. Kasi ang goal na hindi yun eh. You're not even halfway there. You're not even quarter away there. So what's the point of saving 10,000? Tama? So sabi ko, hindi bali, sisipagan ko. I'll get promoted. Di ba? Wala naman akong mga bagsa. Kaya ko yun. Diba? So may abang pa ako nang kaya ko ma-promote, okay lang. Diba? Sabi ko, I'll earn 50,000 a month. If I earn 50 a month, I could save 20. Right? So if I save 20, still in 10 years, 2.4. And at that point, kinakabahan na ako. Actually, inuulit-ulit ko yung math. Sabi ko, I'm an engineer. I'm, I'm supposed to be very good at math. Ay sabi ko, 20 times 12. Alam mo yun? Diba ilang naman siya? 20 times 12 times 10. So, bakit mali? Ulit, 20 times 12 times 10. Tama na muna. So, parang, di ba dapat, baka mali yung decimal place, baka dapat 24 million siya? I mean, ulit ko, like, 4, 5, so, di, tama, eh, mali ba yung calcium? Bro, pahino nga ng calcium mo, para mali yata yung sa akin eh. Right? Pero, it, it just didn't add up. Sabi ko, si even if 50,000 as well, ako, alay, na-broke. Di ba, alam ko na yun. So, sabi ko, what if I reach 100,000? Diba yun ang goal ng lahat? 100,000 naman. Grabe, bro. Six digits. Diba? Well, sa 100,000, may tax yan. Right? So, mga 20,000 dyan tax. So, uwi mo 80,000. You spend 40. You save 40. Still, in 10 years, 4.8 million. I was sad. I was depressed. Kasi doon ko na-realize, everything was useless. Tama? Alam mo yung mag... Ilang taon na ako bago ko mabot ng 100,000 naman? Right? 30 years old? So another 20 years for, for me to save para umabot ang 9.6 yun? Diba? So I'll be 50 years old and the only thing I'll have is this? Yan na yun? 
Diba? So, sa dami-daming math na tinuro sa amin ng college, one thing na dapat tinuro was this. Diba? You're never taught, you know, what your money's worth. Wala. Right? So, I was pissed. I was like, okay, ang gagawin ko? Alam mo, kinakabahan ka na. And I knew I was gonna end up broke. So, at ito pa malupit. Ito ang goal ng sadyante. Ang itsura ng life goal sa look, look something like this. Right? You don't go for a, for a condo. You want a house and lot. Diba a house and lot, no, which is a, sabi mo, three, four hundred square meters, at least Paranaque or somewhere in QC na, diba, na maayos. Kahit sabi mo sa province yan, kahit sabi mo sa Cebu ka bumili. Diba, 15 million, di naman mahal na yan. And ito malupit, ang dami kong friends, pag tinatanong ko, bro, goal mo bumili ng bahay? Oo, magkano yung bahay na gusto mo? Ilang bedroom? Eh, basta, pwede na yung three bedroom. Gano'ng kalaki? Hindi ko alam eh. Mag, magkano? Hindi ko alam eh. Sabi ko, patay tayo dyan. So, sabi ko, so paano mo malalaman kung ano yung effort na ibibigay mo? Hindi mo alam magkano. So, bahala na lang, tsamba-tsamba na lang, kung ano yung kasya na lang. Diba, parang sa school, paano mo malalaman ano yung effort mo? Ano bang grade gusto mo? Ibang effort ng gustong kumi- mag-earn, uh, gusto ng grade ng 95. Iba ang effort ng gustong grade ng pasang awa lang or 75. Iba, ibang effort nun. So, paano mo malalaman kung Tama ba yung effort mo? Right? You want a car. Bakit 5 million? Again, it's not a BMW. You want a second car. Diba? You want savings. Yung matinong savings. One thing the pandemic should have taught us right now, diba? walang security, security. Right? You need to be prepared. So kung meron ka mga 10 million, at least siguro ba kumikita ka ng mga interest at least, you put it somewhere. Diba? This is not the time to play it safe. We were safe. We thought we were safe. Apparently, we're not. Diba? So this is the time to parang wake up and learn something new. Diba? Education. If you have kids, sabihin mo 100,000 a year ang gagasusin mo sa education nila for the next 20 years. O, oh, 2 million yan for one kid. Diba? So you need at least roughly like 32 million pesos. Tama? Eh, kung yung 9 million nga, hindi kaya. Diba? That's a, that's a scary thing. Diba? Ngayon, ang point is, bakit hindi na pinag-uusapan yan? Diba? Kung sa needs versus dreams, diba nung nasa iyo sana ako, pinag-uusapan kasi dreams. Dreams. Look, ang corny naman, pinag-uusapan dreams. Kasi I'm sure with your friends, you don't talk about dreams. With your colleagues, you don't talk about dreams. Diba? Nung pinag-uusapan lang, diba nandiyan na ba yung ano, kailangan ko magbayad ng rent. Grabe, tumaas yung meral ko, tumaas yung tubig, tumaas yung ganyan. Diba yun pinag-uusapan? So, why we don't talk about dreams? Kasi, sa needs pa lang, ubus na eh. Ilang tao yung kilala nyo, guys? Na problema lagi yung, yung pagkain, yung pang-grocery, kulang. Kulang lagi sa rin. Bibili ka pa ng mga damit. Ang dami mong loan sa babayaran. Diba? Diyan pa lang problema na. So, kung dyan pa lang problema na, wala ka ng time mag-isip ng dreams. Nag-gets nyo? So, pero it's very, very important. Sabi ko, I don't want to just pay bills and die. Diba? Nilike ko yun eh, nung nakita ko yun sa Instagram. Sabi ko, hindi pwedeng like lang. I should do it. Diba? So kung nilike mo siya, diba? nabasa mo na sa before, don't just read. Apply it in your life. Right? Sabi ko, okay, sige nga. Parang I really need to work on my things. So paano? Diba? Bakit hindi ba nang- nangyayari yan? Kasi today's reality is this. Bakit means pa lang kulang na? Diba? Magkano bang average salary? Even for an engineer, kahit yung mga graduate ka ng Lasal, Ateneo, kahit cum laude, ma'am na cum laude, summa cum laude, doesn't matter. <coughs> What's gonna pay you 50,000? Pag graduate mo, magkano sweldo? 18, 20, 25. Diba? Malaki na. Sige, nakasamba ka ng 28 to 30. Okay, that's it. Right? Yun naman yun eh. So kung average is 25,000, saan na pupunta yan? Meron kang first, siyempre may mga tax, SSS, ang babayaran mo lahat yan. And then you have your personal expense. 500 lang, guys. Bakit 500 lang? Kasi you have food. Diba ang empleyado every month, every day, kailangan kumain? So let's say 150 pesos a day, kumakain ka. Diba? So magkano yan? 5,000. Diba? Sabi mo, dalawang meals lang yan, yung 150 pesos. Right? Transportation, sabi mo 100 pesos, balikan. Kung saan ka nagtatrabaho. Okay? Internet bills, malamang tumaas na yan ngayon. Nagpa-upgrade na. We have phone, di ba? We have water, electricity, lahat. Right? Tapos na. Yan na napunta yung pera. Problem is, expenses go up. The income, not necessarily every year. Tumataas. Right? Pero hindi lang yun. 
Minsan, kung nagkasakit ka, wala na sa budget yun. Saan yung medicine mong nagaling? Minsan, kailangan mo ng bagong shirt, nasira na, punit na yung pantalon mo, you need to buy some clothes. But wala na sa budget yun. Hindi lang yun. Kailangan mo ng bagong headphones, nasira na siya. Diba, gusto mo ng milk tea, gusto mo ng coffee, saan magagaling yung budget mo? Diba, isakto na yung kanina sa 25,000 eh. Diba? Hindi lang yun. Let's say, pumunta ka ng binyag, kailangan mo mag- magdala ng regalo. Punta ka na birthday party, you need to buy a gift. Mahili ka mag-gym, bili ka ng yoga mat, yoga mga, mga damit pang gym, bili ka ng mga dumbbells or mag-membership uh, ka sa gym. Mahili ka mag-guitar, same thing, you need to buy some strings or whatever. Di ba? So, ang dami-dami mong gagawin, di ba, nasira yung appliances mo. Bili ka ng bagong microwave oven. Right? Gusto mo mag-save for insurance. Di ba? Gusto mo mag-pumuha ng kondo. Di ba? Ang dami-dami mong kailangan bayaran. Magkana yung sweldo? Nakita niyo yung lower left? Yun na yun. Di ba? So, ano pang isi-save mo? So, when people say, hindi ka kasi marunong mag-save, wala ka nang isi-save. There's nothing more to save your dream. Right? Kaya the point is, we need to now diba, increase the source of income. That's why we're in Isani. Right? Pampalakihin natin ngayon yung source of income natin. Right? So, kasi for that 25,000, I studied 16 years para doon sa 25,000 na yun. Diba? And hindi yun madali, yung 25,000 na yun. Right? Kailangan to the performance ka sa work para may maintain mo yung 25,000 na yun. Kailangan yes boss all the time. Kasi pag nag-no boss ka, there are lots of people ready to take over your job. Tama? And kailangan mag-overtime. Bawal malate, di ba? Pero pag hindi ka nag-overtime, hindi ka mag-promote, for sure. Di ba? Hindi naman, basta lang, ay, lagi naman ako on time, ah. Hindi naman ako nalilate, ah. Ba't ako na-promote? That, that's not enough. You know it. Di ba? Kailangan tip-top attitude. Nag-away kayo sa bahay? So what? Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Right? Nag-away kayo ng asawa mo? So what? Di ba? Any problems at home? So what? Kailangan? Yes, boss. Diba? Always with a smile. Greet your client with a smile. Tama? Kailangan, kung gusto mo ma-promote, kailangan mag-masters. Will it consume more time and effort? Of course, yes. Weekends, mag-aaral ka. Kahit sabi mo, bayad yan ng company. So what? Diba? You, you, you'll be spending time and money. Right? Pupunta ka pa rin sa mga classes mo. Right? Every weekend yun. So kung gagawin mo for another two years, how much ang promotion? Extra 5,000? Kagawin mo sa extra 5,000? Bibili ka ng kotse? Nakakabago ba ng buhay ang 10,000 promotion? Ay sabi yung 15,000 promotion? No. Right? Yeah, you can eat nice. That's it. I don't want to eat nice. I want to buy that house. Diba? I don't want to eat sa Italianis or Fridays. That's not the goal. I want to buy that house. Right? Again, what's the goal? You need to gain experience. And dapat, sip-sip ka. Diba? Importante yung PR. Diba? Pleasing personality. It's not enough that you're smart. Diba? Kailangan nyo pa pleasing personality. So, other option is you go abroad. When you work abroad, di ba bakit? Mas malaki ang kita. Uh, abroad tayo, malaki ang kita. True. Of course, it's true. It's not a lie. Totoo naman. Right? Until you're there. But when you, go, when you come back home, wala na. Right? And for that, may placement fees. Diba? And for that, may multiple exams. Right? May medicals yan. May transportation. Like, kaya ang dami kong kilala, ilang years na hindi nakaka-uwi ng Philippines. May kilala ba kayong ganun? Diba, two years, three years, five years, they, they don't come back home. Bakit? Laki naman na kinikita nyo dyan. Ha? Magkano lang pa pamasahe? $1,000? Diba? Back and forth na nga yun kung magpal ka dati, diba? Back and forth na yun eh. <coughs> Pwede ka na makumuha nun. Eh, ba't di nagagawa? Kasi when you leave, you don't have work. When you come back here, wala, wala ka na yun. Right? Yung shelter, babayaran mo yan. Yung food, babayaran mo yan. Cost of living, and yung padala. That's why I know people, when I went to the US, they, they have two jobs. When isang friend ko nagreklamo siya, he was 30 years old when I went to US. Kasama ko si Mentor Ryan. We went for the USANA convention. So we, we met up, high school friend. And sabi niya, nurse siya doon. And sabi niya, alam mo, nag-stop mo na ako sa work eh. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, na-stress ako. Di ba, napagod talaga ako. Hindi may napagod ka. Sabi niya dito kasi puro work, home, chores, alam mo yun, parang walang masyadong life balance. Ano ka? Work, work, work. Alam mo yun, puro ganun na lang siya. And I was thinking in my head, grabe, 30 years old pa lang to. 
he has another 30 years to work. Di ba, 60 ang retirement? Eight years pa lang siya nagtatrabaho eh. Eight years pa lang ganyan na siya. Di ba, times three pa, times four pa, tatrabaho eh. Nakapagod nga naman, isipin pa lang. Right? So sabi ko, if pwede naman mag-double job when you're abroad, why not do double job here? Di ba, bakit work lang? Di after work, di ba, kailangan magnegosyo ka pa din. Right? And nandito ka na, you're in your country, you're comfortable. Why do you not go, need to go to another country to do that? Di ba? 20 years na ako working. Right? So, right now, congratulations because you have an opportunity. And guys, one thing na gusto ko sa iyo sana is this. We're lucky, honestly. Any, everyone who's here, even you just joined, we're lucky. I'll tell you why. Ang daming tao sa labas, gusto mo yung mama. Tama? Lahat naman ng tao, tanungin mo, sino gusto yung mama? Ako. Next question, papano? Anong plano mo? Hindi ko alam. Right? Ngayon, pag tinanong ka, sino gusto yung mama? Ako. Anong plano ko? I'm gonna work on my sana business. Si kaya siya dyan. So, alam mo yung may plan na hindi na clueless. Right? You can write down those goals and mamaya mag-usap kayo ng apply. Apply, ito yung goals na gusto ko. The house, this much, ito, this much. Ano dapat ang rank ko? Ano dapat ang effort ko? How many people should I talk to? What skills do I need to learn? Alam mo yung may path na siya. That's what excited me. Na meron na akong pwedeng gawin. Alam mo yung mag-aaral ka pero walang lesson plan. Ang hirap. Ano kaya darating sa exam? Diba? Dito meron na eh. Right? So, ano pa ibang option if you want to earn? Traditional business. Diba? A lot of people go, go for that. And sabi nga ng isang friend ko before, sabi niya, dude, dapat talaga magbigosyo ka. Kasi wala namang empleyado nakatira sa Forbes Park. Eh. May, meron bang ganun? Wala naman eh. Diba? So, yung sabihin, if you want to earn a lot, if you're ambitious, you, you need to go for business. Pero the problem is, pag nag-business ka, sabi niya, after 10 years, 15, 20 years, nag-ipon ka, diba, ng malaking pera, ninegosyo mo, hindi ka naman marunong magdegosyo kasi yung skills mo pang employee, sabi niya, ibang skills ng employee, iba ang, di ba, may pressure ang employee, pero iba rin ang pressure ng business person. Kasi bakit? Hindi pwede nag-open ka lang ng restaurant. Pag business owner ka, kailangan yung accounting, i-oversee mo yun. Yung logistics, i-oversee mo yun. Di ba, saan magagaling yung products mo? Paano madideliver yung product mo? Kung restaurant yan, paano mo train yung mga tao mo? Masarap ba yan? Marketing, kailangan... Bi- visualization, nandun ka pa rin, parang, uy, ano mangyayari ito? Tinabihan ako na ibang restaurant, ano gagawin ko dito? Diba? So, hindi pwedeng owner ka na. No. All around. Pagkailangan, wala yung cashier mo, nandun ka, ikaw ang cashier. Diba? Sometimes, ikaw ang server, nakita na ba kayo sa restaurant, nandun yung owner, yung nagsaserve? Bakit? Baka kulang ng tao. Diba? So, it's not enough that you're just, pag, oh, pag sarado na ng restaurant, saan ka tayo kukuha ng loan para mag-expand? Diba? Oh, mababa yung sales ngayon. Anong gagawin natin yung promotion? Sino mag-iisip nun? Owner. Diba? So there's a lot more pressure being, you know, doing traditional business. I'm not saying it's hindi kikita. I'm just saying there's a lot more pressure. Diba? So if you're prepared for that, pwede mag-traditional. Diba? So, o diba kahit daw sa McDo, yung owner tumutulong. Franchise na yun. Ha? Diba? Kasi syempre kailangan niyang bawiin yun eh. Diba? Kasi kung isipin nyo, totoo nga naman. Diba? Ilang years mo babawiin yan? Di naman one year ang ROI. Kahit naman McDonald's or Jollibee. So if you wanna earn 100,000 pesos a month in a business, ano pwede mong gawin business? Pwede ka mag-restaurant? Pwede ka mag-coffee shop? Apartment? Condos? Stocks? Right? Franchise? Diba? Mga couple of options. Some of the options you can do. For a restaurant, how much? At least 2 million pesos? Diba? Kasi kung karindiria lang yan, wala namang karindiria na diba, super laki yung income. Tama? So, restaurant, at least a decent restaurant, you'll spend at least something like that. At least. Right? But again, yung sinabi ko kanina, you have to know all those things. You have to learn all those things. Diba? Lots of sleepless nights. So, hindi pwedeng, ito pa malupay, hindi ka pwede magtanong sa kaibigan mo. Bro, patulong naman kasi yung restaurant ko parang nalulugi. Anong gagawin ko? Eh, call center agent siya, anong gagawin niya? Or nurse siya, anong, anong alam niya? Pare, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. Nandito lang ako, nandito pa utang. Diba? What do you mean nandito? I don't need moral support. I need ideas. I need how to grow the business. Tama mali. So basically, you're on your own unless you have a friend who's willing to teach you. Mabait siya. Turuan kita paano magnegosya ng restaurant. Diba? Kung hindi kayo magkatabi, kung hindi kayo magkalaban. Tama? So otherwise, wala rin magtuturo sa'yo nun. Diba? If you're willing to go through that, great. Kaya lots of people lose money when they start a business. So, next, siguro coffee shop. 
Diba? That's a cool business. Diba? Yan ang mga inisip ng lahat. Coffee shop, cool yan. Diba? At least one million yung mga machines pa lang magkano na yun. Right? You have to make sure masarap yung coffee mo. Right? And you're competing against, you know, the likes of Starbucks or Coffee Bean, Boast Coffee, you know, Coffee Project, right? Or Bubble Tea. Yeah, maraming tea. I'm not saying hindi sila kumikita. Pero magkano kinikita? I know, I know people na may mga coffee shops. They're earning 30, 40,000 a month. Diba? Okay, kung okay na sa'yo yun, fine. Pero again, nung kinompute kasi sa goals, kulang siya. Diba? Again, yung gagawin mo kasi dapat, sakto dun sa goals. Diba? Kapunta ba dun? If you want more, gusto mo maging 80,000 yan, kung spend ka ulit ng another 1 million, another franchise or another store na you open mo. Gusto mo ulit, mas malaki, mag, so simula ka na naman ng isa pa. Diba? More money. Pwede ka mag-start ng apartment. Diba, ginagol na lahat yan. True naman, you can get passive income. Diba, from that. So, diba, or residual income kasi paulit-ulit, diba, kung nakarenta. Considering, laging nakarenta. So, let's say, bili ka ng 10-door apartment, pagawa ka. Diba, huwag bili, diba, pagawa ka. Diba, because you're wise, so you get a land, pagawa ka ng ganang bahay, fine. Diba? Ngayon, gano'ng katagal ang ROI? Let's say na lang, um, nakarenta yan, 10,000 per month, Okay, so for in a month, 100,000. Oh, grabe, 100,000 a month. But you have to pay taxes. Diba, kailangan nyo kung ano mang, every time na may magpapalit ng tao, renovation, may masira, ayusin mo lahat yan. Okay, considering, sige, everything goes well for 10 years. For 10 years, laging may tao, laging nakarenta, never ka nawalan. Galing talaga, everything went right. Okay, so 100,000 in a year is 1.2 million. Okay, siyempre, hindi naman sa lahat yan, may taxes na babayaran. Pero let's say na lang, sige, 1.2 million. In 10 years, this is 12 million. It's gonna take you at least 15 years to get your money back. ROI pa lang yun, walang profit yan. ROI pa lang yun. Right? So I'm not saying it's a bad idea, pero if you have extra 15 million, go for it. Diba? But that's your, all your money, eventually, yes, you're gonna earn. Diba? Pero 15 years, just to get your money back. Diba? Kaya pag may sinabing, oh, may apartments ako, nagpaparent, oo, oh, oh, napawi mo ba? Ilang taon pa bawi ito? Nag-gets nyo? So, next. Diba? Eh, what if, ano ka na? Let's say, 40 years old ka ngayon. 55, babo, ROI ka pa lang. Diba? O, sige, 30 years old ka ngayon, 45, ROI. And then you earn. Another 15 years, diba? For you to earn 15 million. Eh, magkano yung goal? 32 million. So, again, another, so 30 years to get that Diba? 30, 32 million. Diba? So I, I know people here in Yusano have done it in lesser time. Diba? I'm not saying this is the only way. Diba? But I know there is a way. Wala naman ako 15 million. Diba? Yun kasi yung point eh. Parang, yeah, maganda siya pag, pag-usapan. Parang na, 15 million to start that. Diba? Pwede ka mag-condo. Same concept. Diba? Bili na maraming condo. Grabe, ang dami niya ng condo. Yeah, of course. Okay naman yun. But again, it takes time. If you're willing to go through that and you have the money, great. Right? You have extra. Parang Jollibee. Sino ba nag-open ng Jollibee? Yung mga taong, malaki na income. Kasi for you to open a Jollibee, hindi lang 50 million ang kailangan meron ka. I-check nila yung assets mo pa. Yung ba kailangan meron ka pang at least 150 million worth of assets in everything. Right? So, ano pa? Stocks. Yan, ang dami kong friends na nandiyan ngayon. Stocks, stocks, stocks. It sounds cool. You know, the graphs going up and down pang Instagram. You know, it's really nice. Ooh, the, you know. Diba? So, hindi ko alam kung iba yung purpose nila. Pero, again, yeah, you can make money in stock siguro. Diba? But then, I find it funny kasi, yung mga ibang friends ko, alam mo yung nakiuso lang, parang tanga lang. Diba? Parang, uy, uso yun, sige tayo din. Diba? Parang bobo. So, hindi kasi nag-iisip eh. Diba? Ito yung mga bagsak na mapuha, hindi marun mag-math eh. Kasi isipin nyo, yung mga iba dito, ang gagawin nila, yung mga friends ko, uh, let's say, sige, naglagi ka ng 500,000 you put in the, in the stocks. On average, the past 30 years, okay, ang return ng stocks on average is about 10%, okay, per year. So ngayon, let's say na lang, sige, nag-grow ka ng 10%, you put 50,000, up 500,000, makani yun, 10% of that, 50,000, nagawin mo ito, bibili ng iPhone. Diba? Yun yun. Diba? That's if you leave your money there and you put it in the right company. Diba? So ma-manage, manage mo pa rin siya. So fine, okay naman yun. Pero that's not gonna get you the goal. Eh, pwede ka naman mag-day trade. Iba naman yun. Iba day trade is you need to study. Iba? So I have friends na nag-day trading. So I ask them, I like to ask. Ayoko kasi yung biglang, wait, cool yan. Gusto ko rin gawin. Patangahan yun eh. Hindi, you need to ask. Right? So 
this guy quit his job, which is fine, kasi at least mas hawak niya yung oras daw niya. Um, and sabi ko, how, how, how often do you do it? Like, ilang oras yan? Sabi niya sa morning, pag nag-trading na, mga four hours. Okay? Morning yun. So, kung ano man oras yung start yung mga trading, I, I'm not sure. So, morning yun. Tapos, another three hours daw after that, at least, pwede nang gawin at his own time. Another three hours to, I don't know, plot? I don't know, kasi sinabi siyang term eh. So, to plot everything kung anong gagawin. And of course, you need to read a lot. Hindi naman pwede feeling ko dyan ako. Uy, sabi ng kapitbahay ako, dyan ako bibili. Uy, sell, buy. That's not how it's done. You need to read. But what's the political situation in the US right now? What's the political situation in the Philippines? Lahat yan. Iba kailangan pinagbabasa ka. Ano ba yung economic development sa na nangyayari ngayon? Di ba magkakagera ba doon? Tataas ba yung price nito? Di ba ano ba yung next na mga boom? Di ba read about solar? Di ba dapat pa mag-invest ako sa solar? Ay feeling ko dapat mag-invest. Hindi, you read. So you need to be reading a lot. So kung tapad ka magbasa, huwag pa nang gawin yan. Nangyayos yung point? So I'm not saying you don't earn. But I'm just telling you, it's not as you know easy as it looks on Instagram. Di ba pag pinapost sa mga tao? That's the only point. Right? Um, and so, dami kasi ginawa yan. So, kasi Warren Buffett, di ba? Stocks guru. So, you know, he, he became a billionaire. That's true. But if you read about it, uh, Warren Buffett made most of his money right, after the age of 50. Bakit? Kasi ginagawa niya dati, lahat ng kinik- pag may kinikita siya sa mga negosyo niya, marami kasi siyang racket. Eh. Mga kinikita niya, di ba? Maraming negosyo, pinangbibili niya ng stocks and iniwan niya. Eventually, lumaki, he had enough to, to trade it. So, marami na siyang volume of stocks. But that's how it went. Hindi naman yung bata pa lang siya nag-trade na siya. Right? So, ngayon, always nagbabasa. Exactly. Di ba? E pag e, e, nabasa mo pa lang isang libro, yung pa high school pa. Di ba? Yung, yung, yung English project. Di ba? Yung The Little Prince. Di ba? So, yung last na nabasa. Right? It's probably not, you know, the thing you want to do. But of course, you're an entrepreneur now, di ba? You still need to read. Ba, kailangan ako. Hindi ko, hindi ako may hindi magbasa. Pero, um, you know, if I need to read, I, I'll read. Di ba? Kasi kailangan eh. Right? So, next, franchise. Di ba? Dati, bala ko yan, Show My House. Well, ang Show My House was about 500,000, tapos, well, 400. Um, Sikitain mo, around 20 to 30,000. So, again, if you want to earn 100, kailangan mo na mga limang franchise siguro. And hindi siya feasible for me to do kasi bakit? What if itendera ko? Wala. Mag-absent ako para magbenta ng siomay. Diba? Doon ako mag-aaral <laughs> ng mga exams ko. Right? So, what if tabihan ako ng master siomay naman? O siomay ko sa akin? Right? So, there are lots of things in play. So, yun lang nung na-realize ko na kailangan, I mean, you're aware of what's going on. Yun ang maganda naman kasi sa'yo sana. Okay? Number one is this business is very forgiving. Alam mo, pwede kang magkamali. Pag nagkamali ka kasi sa'yo sana, hindi ka nawawala ng income. Pag nagkamali ka sa restaurant, pwede mawalan ka na ng customers. Pwede mawalan, mawasira yung reputation mo and everything. Pag nagkamali ka, you could lose money. Sa'yo sana, hindi. Diba? Kasi, you sana, number one, you could do it part-time. A traditional business, you can. Diba? Hindi pwedeng, uy, after work, buksa ko yung restaurant ko. Hindi siya pwedeng ganun. The whole day pala yung tao mo, hindi naman ginagawa yung tao mo, yung trabaho. So you could do this part-time. But I did it part-time. Most people do it part-time. Eventually, they do it full-time when they become successful. But they don't resign and then become successful. They become successful while they're working. Yung income nila sa Yusana surpasses what they're earning sa work. And then they decide, wait lang, ito part-time yun, full-time, 12 hours yun. Eh yung 12 hours yun, bili ko na lang kaya sa family ko yung time. Part-time, I could earn the same. Hindi dito na lang. Right? Second, very small capital. Imagine what other business you could start and you just bought a couple of vitamins. 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. Diba? May negosyo ka na. Hindi naman siya warehouse. Binili mo. Third, you have a system. So for example, ngayon you join. Now you're listening to a training of what to do next. Diba? So later, we're going to talk about how to earn. Right? So pag-uusapan natin yun. So, lahat may system na siya. May nangungulit sa'yo paano magnegosyo. May nangungulit sa'yo ito yung gagawin first step, second step. Right? So we are, are in a business of helping people solve their problems. Yun ang ginagawa natin. Di ba nakakatawa yun? We help 
people solve their problems because that's what business does, right? That's what businesses do. So, number one, anong concern ng mga tao? Health. Lifetime concern ng mga tao. Three things. Health, finances, and time freedom. Yan naman ang habol ng lahat ng mga tao. Kung healthy ka, may pera ka, may oras ka, hindi masaya ka na. Tama? Pero usually, ito yung nangyayari. Okay? Merong mga tao, first kind of people, they're healthy. Di ba? Finances, okay. Pero wala silang oras. Sino yung mga yan? These are the people who are young. They're in their 20s, 30s, or probably 40s. Right? They're healthy pa, okay pa naman. Sige, puyat, go lang. Di ba? Extra work, go lang. Di ba? Two weeks straight, trabaho, go lang. Weekends, okay lang. And they're earning because they're managers, you know, supervisors. They're earning six digits, siguro, 80,000, 100,000, fine. Pero walang oras. Di ba? Yan yung pag sinabi ng family na, uy, may anniversary dinner ng parents. Ay, hindi ko pwede, may board meeting kami. Ba, ay, may ano ko sa Singapore, may ganito ako doon, hindi ako pwede. May tindihan naman nila. Ah, ganun ba? Marami. Maghihintay ka ng weekend, di ba? Nung long weekend para makapagbakasyon. Or gusto mo magbakasyon, hindi na-approve yung vacation mo. Di ba? I have friends na nagpapa-approve ng vacation. Hindi ko alam kasi I've never worked. So lahat ng mga alam ko lang about employment is through my friends. Mga kwento-kwento lang nila. So, um, sabi, sabi nung isa, gusto tara magbakasyon tayo. Sabi ko si Kiking. So I was a goal director that time. Sabi ko, sige, game. Okay naman ako. So, kumakain kami. Buffet yun, mga college friends. And sabi ng isang friend ko, uh, Korea. Sabi ko, sige, game. Sabi tayo, Korea. I've never been to Korea. Fine. So, nag-discuss na sila. Ay, ako, yung leave ko, ganito. Ay, sige, October tayo pumunta para ganito. Ay, hindi ako pwede ng October. Pwede bang November? Ay, ganito. Sige, papa-approve ako. Parang ganyan. So, I was eating. And sabi ng isang friend ko, sabi niya, tanongin din natin si Raj. Sabi ng isang friend ko naman, sumagot, na uh, alam niya nag na ako. Sabi niya, si Raj, anytime pwede naman niya, mag-decide muna tayo. Diba? Kasi that time, graduate na ako, and I, and I have all the time. I could do the business from anywhere. Kahit nasa Korea ako, pwede ko siyang gawin. Diba? Kung kailangan ko gawin. Diba? So, I had, I had the time. So, yun yung nagiging problem nila. Their second kind of people, okay yung health, um, may time, pero problem, finances. Right? So, ito yung mga tao na, you know, they're, they're probably smart, okay naman. Diba? Kung laude, sumakong laude, you know, they were smart, maraming orgs yung college, but financially, kulang. Diba? I know lots of people din na gano'n. Right? So, may oras sila kasi they're not in the top positions. Diba? Third kind of people, ito yung okay yung finances, diba? may time, wow, okay yan. Pero, compromise na yung health. Who are these people? Ito yung probably who work all their lives and, you know, they work very hard, puyat, and don't tell me na all, lahat ng puyat na yun, saan ka na take a toll on your body. Right? Imposible yun. Pinagod mo, nagtrabaho ka ng 14 hours a day, 16 hours a day. Di ba, kasama pa yung mga travel mo, di ba, syempre, nakakapagod yun. Pipila ka sa G, pipila ka sa MRT, nakakapagod naman talaga siya. Right? So, pag umabot ka na ng mga 50s, masakit na yung ganito, may diabetes na, meron na hypertension, high blood pressure. What's that? Bigla na lang dumating? No. Diba? One big factor is yung stress. Right? So, ngayon, sayo, sayo sana. Diba kaya sabi, ni, ano, sabi rin ni Warren Buffett? But there was this uh, meeting, sabi niya doon, what if eh, lahat ng mga tao dito sa meeting na to, bibigyan ko ng sasakyan. Paglabas nyo, lahat kayo may brand new car. But the only deal is, that will be your only car for the rest of your life. Anong gagawin mo? Sabi niya, siyempre, alagaan mo yan. Bimaintain mo yan. Hindi pwedeng masira yan. Di ba? Kailangan laging tip-top shape. Kasi ta- kailangan ito magaling. Sabi niya, it's the same with your body. Isa lang yan. Pag yan nasira, wala na. Patay na. Kailangan ito magal yung katawan mo. Make sense? Di ba? So, kailangan ito magal siya. You need to take care of your body. Important. Right? So, wala na, wala na yung body. Wala na income. Wala na lahat. Science. Right? And so with you, Sana, we help solve all three problems. Diba? You're healthy, you're taking the best supplements in the world. Diba? Financially, you could earn as much as you want. It depends on your effort. It doesn't depend on me. It doesn't depend even to your, on your upline. It depends on you how much you earn. Depending on the effort. Mo. 
Kahit sabihin ng upline mo nag-invite sa'yo, gusto ko income mo $100 this week. Well, hindi, gusto ko $400. Eh. I could do more. You decide. Diba? Pwede mo sabihin sa boss mo yan? Hindi. Ay tumumbling-tumbling ka pa sa boss mo. O boss, parang ako tumumbling. Diba? Wala. Yun pa rin yung income mo. Right? So, ngayon, why you sana? Sa dami-dami ng negosyo out there. Okay? Ang dami-dami rin mga multi-level marketing companies. Why you sana? Okay? I want you guys to quickly listen to this video. In interview si Warren, uh, si Richard Branson. Again, one of the billionaires. Okay? Alam niyo yung Virgin Galactic? Iba yung pumunta ng space a uh, couple of weeks ago. Iba, so siya yung may ari nun. So this is what he has to say about network marketing. Quickly listen to this. About this audience, the network marketing community. Uh, there's about 100 million people uh, around the world that are engaged in this. It does approximately $200 billion a year in revenue. It's growing, it's expanding. And these, these home-based entrepreneurs are looking um, for a better life for their families. Do you think it's a good idea for a person to get involved in network marketing? And, and, yeah, I mean, and, I think, I, 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 think um, I mean, we were, we were involved in network marketing once with a cosmetics company in the UK. And we would have, you know, a dinner every year um, with all these young, young entrepreneurs from all over the country. And, they, and they, it, they were, you know, sometimes they were a mum, you know, with children who wanted to make some money on the side, you know, and um, sometimes they were re- relying on, relying on it completely, um, you know, for their living. And it was tremendous seeing the, you know, the enthusiasm, um, how much it transformed their lives and uh, what a difference it made to them. So I'm a tremendous believer in network marketing and I'm a great believer in entrepreneurs. I think, it, it, you know, the, all the future jobs in the next 20 or 30 years will, will be created by, uh, you know, network marketing entrepreneurs and other, other entrepreneurs around the world um, starting off from scratch or starting off very small and making a real difference in the world. All right. So, guys, imagine, no, Richard Branson, one of the billionaires, okay, thinks network marketing is, is a good thing to do. Ngayon, yung friend ko, sabi niya, pro, yung networking, ay, nag-join ka ng Yusana? Naku, pangit yan. Sabi ko, paano mo alam? Nakita mo na ba yung presentation? Sabi, hindi ko pa, hindi pa. So, paano mo nasabi? Diba, eh, narinig ko, ganyan, ganyan. Ah, okay. So, kayo na, makikinig. Richard Branson? O yung kaimigan ko? Diba, Richard Branson? Sabi naman na isang friend ko, bro, ah, nag-start ka network marketing? Eh, diba, ito, siguro nagbabasa-basa. Ah, maganda ang network marketing. Maganda yung sana. Again, paano mo alam? Nakita mo na ba yung presentation? Hindi. So again, kahit positive yan or negative yan, you're not doing the business. Why the heck would I listen to you? Tama, para mo sinabing, best friend ko si Mentor Ryan. Yes, he's a nurse. I'm an engineer. Even if best friend ko siya, diba, he should never take medical advice from me. Tama mali. Kasi I'm an engineer. Walang usapang kaibigan doon. Engineer ako, iba expertise ko eh. Wala akong alam doon. Ngayon ko kailangan ko advice about medicine. Pwede ako sa kanya siguro magtanong. Konti. But I would also not take engineering advice from him. Make sense? So ngayon, if you want to be a millionaire, who, you, who should you listen to? Someone who's already a millionaire. Other people could give all kinds of advice. Yung ngayon, yung ngayon problem eh. But you need, to, you need to talk to people, right? Who can help you? Right? Who can help you decide how to go further? Okay lang. Kung nari si Ramon Ang, sabihin niya sa'yo, ay, huwag ka makinig dyan kay Raj. Gusto mong maging billionaire? Tulung, turuan kita. Turuan kita. Diba? Pre, be my prodigy. Go. Listen to him. Diba? Isama mo na rin ako. Paano ba yan? Diba? Bakit? Kasi he's a billionaire. I might learn something. You'll definitely learn something. Pero kung yung kaibigan mo na kumikita ng 50,000, okay lang kung yun yung gusto mo. Diba? Kasi kung sino yung pinapakinggan mo, yun yung magiging resulta mo. And guys, tong college pa lang ginagawa na natin. Pagkaibigan mo, Tsaka ikaw, hindi kayo nag-aral. Magtatabi ba kayo? Siyempre hindi. Anong gagawin nyo? Tatabihan mo. Kahit di mo close, tatabihan mo. Kasi may goal. O di ba pinag-usapin natin kanina, goal? Di ba? So, kailangan, kasi may goal. Kailangan mong pumasa. Pero after nun, kaibigan pa rin kayo. Tama? So it's the same thing. Now you have a goal. Right? Kaya guys, <clears throat> I have an assignment for you. Okay? After this session, if you, especially if you just join or member ka na in and hindi mo pa ito ginagawa. Guys, write down your goals. 
it's very, very, very important. Kasi yung next topic after nito pag-usapan natin how to earn, it's gonna be useless, 100% useless. If hindi mo alam, ano ba yung gusto mo? Diba? You just don't wanna be doing, kasi mangyayari niyan, is pag may konting challenge, ay, ayoko na kasi yung hirap eh. Akala ko ba gusto mo ng bagong bahay? Diba? It's not easy, but it's possible. Yun naman yung point eh. Tama? So, write down after this, write down your goals. Let me make it exciting. Sulat mo dun yung dream house mo, check mo, hindi lang yung dream house lang na dream house. Hindi. Magkano? Punta ka sa ba, property 24, Lamudi, yung mga, ano na mga online, di ba? Marami dyan. <coughs> Search mo. Magkano ba yung bahay na ganyan? I want a house with a pool. So, magkano ba yun? Di ba? 10 million ba yan? Kasi ba nagsabi sa akin, 5 million daw eh. So, walang ganun. Di ba? Tubig lang siguro yun. Wala pa yung pool. Di ba? So, useless. Pag hindi mo alam eh. So, the car. Maybe you're not into cars. Di ba? Maybe you don't want a Ferrari. You want, gusto mo lang ng family car. Pero pwede namang Lexus na family car. That would be nice. Di ba? Hindi naman pwede, hindi naman kailangan for tuner lang. Gusto mo yung gusto mo yung gusto mo. Okay lang din. Again, what is it that you want? Para every day you're excited when you wake up, you know why you're doing things. Okay? So, next naman, okay, ayan, kung titignan mo yung global sales, right, yung, yung, yung network marketing or direct sales is huge. It's bigger than the movie industry, music industry. Di ba yung natural foods ngayon? Grabe yung organic, organic. Network marketing or direct selling is bigger. People just don't know about it. Yung maganda pa, lahat ng headaches ng traditional business ownership, wala na. Imagine, meron akong call center. Lahat tayo meron tayong call center. You have a problem? Diba? Kaya sabihin ko lang sa downline ko, oh, tawagan mo to. Ay, sir, ito po yung, pro- ano, ito yung problem ko. They'll, they'll fix it. May problem sa delivery? That's not my concern. Diba? There's a team handling that. Thanks to the team doing that. Imagine, during the pandemic, diba last year, dami mga lockdowns. Diba? Yung USANA, they chartered flights. Airplanes. Nag-rent sila ng plane para ma-deliver yung product sa Cebu. Imagine, hindi ko problema. Saan ako mag-renta ng plane? Hindi ako nag-google how to rent planes. Tama? Tapos pag-abot dun sa Cebu, sila yung nag-coordinate sa LBC or DHL how to get it done, how to get it delivered sa addresses. Against mo, hindi ko problema yon. Hindi ko problema yung website. I don't have to buy a domain name. I don't have to maintain a website. Pag may IT concerns, I don't, ha- I don't have a person taking care of that. The corporate teams take care cares of that, takes care of that. Right? Hindi ko problema yung development ng app. There's already an app. And it's improving every week. Diba? So everything nandiyan na. So ano na lang ginagawa ng negosyo usually? Marketing. Yun na nagagawin ko. Tama mali. Right? So you need to appreciate kasi what you got yourself into. Kaya malupit pa, yung founder ni Usana, so you, si Dr. Wentz is the only scientist na founder ng isang MLM company. So there's no other MLM company that the founder is a scientist. Okay, and ang malupit pa ng goal niya. Kasi before USANA, he had his own laboratory called the Dal Laboratories. Okay, so hindi siya nag-negosyo ng USANA na ano ba magandang ibenta? Uso ang vitamins, sarap benta ng vitamins. Hindi siya ganun eh. Okay, it came from somewhere. May source siya. So expert din siya talaga ang cellular research. Yes, yeah, a double PhD. So may matalino siya. Tawa mali. Medyo matali na naman kahit paano, di ba? Double PhD eh. Right? And so, siya yung nakahanap ng test kit for Epstein-Barr virus. Di ba? Feeling ko, hindi naman madali yun. Di ba? Meron siyang Albert Einstein Award. Right? So, nag-open siya ng USANA and ang dream niya ano? Sabi niya, dream of a world free from pain and suffering. A, a, a world free from disease. The USANA family will be the healthiest family on earth. Love, life, and living. So, ang goal natin is yung mga kapitbahay natin, yung mga lahat ng mga tao, mag healthy They're healthy, we earn. O di ba, we're solving people's problems. Nag-gets niyo? So, ang maganda pa sa iyo sana, lahat ng certifications, yung dyan na. Okay? So, di ba, hinahanap lang ng mga tao, FDA approved? It's not just FDA. Lalo na kung Philippine FDA lang. Di ba, it's just, di ba, ano lang yun eh, uh, food grade, standard. Yung sana hindi, it's a pharmaceutical grade supplement. Kaya nga na doon sa PDR eh. Kaya kay doctor yung kausapin mo, hey, doc, tignan mo yung PDR. Ay, oo nga, no, nandiyan. So, you're not lying. It's not a marketing gimmick. 
Di ba sabi nila, scam yan eh, talaga. So, ibig sabihin, para mo sinabi, scam tong libro na to, itapon na pala natin yan. Tanga pala mga doktor eh, kasi naniniwala dyan. Mas magaling pa yung kaibigan mong nurse. Kamali. <laughs> di ba, so manami kayo sometimes know it all, but talaga, okay. Right? NSF, tanga ba yan? Mas mahirap pa, mas mahirap pa ang cert- NSF sa certification. It's GMP certified. Consumer lab certified. Di ba, United States Pharmacopeia. Ano ba yan? Dati hindi ko naman alam ano yan. Eh. But when I got into you sana, sabi ko, okay, ganun pala yan. USP, parang, wow, that's what I'm taking. Ang lupit. Diba? So you need to know what you sana is about. So yun ang tinitake mo ng vitamins. So when you say, sabihin nila, all vitamins are created equal. No, they're not. You sana has a patented technology. Parang sabihin mo sa kaibigan mo, alam mo ba yung sabihin na patent? When you say patented siya, hindi siya pwede kopihin. Pag kinopya yan, kakasuhan. Tama mali. Right? So, basically, huwag nang sabihin yun na, na stupid ka. Sinasabi ko lang, okay, is, um, educate natin sila. Okay? That's, we, that's, that's our job, to educate them. Diba? Not all vitamins are created equal. Hindi lahat ng vitamins sa PDR. Actually, almost walang vitamins sa PDR. Yung sana lang. Bakit? Educate them. Right? That's how we grow. Imagine walang commercial sa insana. Ang Centrum, ilang commercials yan. Pharma, lahat ng vitamin company, di ba commercials? They take mga artista and everything. Di ba? Of course, that's the, kasi that's your marketing plan. Eh. That's their traditional business. Ganun naman talaga. Di ba? Lahat naman ng mga ano, ina-advertise. Di ba? Lahat, everything. Ang sana walang advertisement. And yet, it's a number one selling vitamin. Right? How come? It's a science. Kasi once ang tindihan na nila, ah, oh, ano maganda. Right? So we're part, trusted partner ng Dr. Osho. But that's why we have millions of, you know, athletes, thousands of athletes who are using it. Mga world-class athletes. And why is it a big deal? Kasi ang athlete, buhunan nila, katawan nila. Diba? Pag yan nagkasakit, wala ng income. Nagkasakit, wala ng tournament. Diba? What if as, a, as an athlete, you train, let's say for three months straight, you train for one tournament, particular tournament, eh, nagkasakit ka. Wala na. Tama? Wala ka, hindi ka magalaro sa tournament. But especially as a tennis player, ganun. Diba? Eh, mas biglang sumakit yung tuhod mo kasi malapit na yung tournament. Eh, di wala. It's not an effort. Right? Pero malapit pa sa mga athletes na to, they're not paid. That's where athletes make money. For example, if you don't if you know this player, si Djokovic, Okay, so he's right now the number one tennis player in the world. So, nakita ko lang uh, two days ago, he earned $12 million last year from tournaments. $12 million. Palaki yun. He earned $32 million from, from sponsorships. Ay, grabe, no? Almost times three. From sponsorships. So, you sana, we don't pay athletes. What we give them is a million-dollar athlete guarantee, which no other companies really do. Anything happens to you because of you sana, will pay you $1 million. Right? Grabe, no? So, yun yung guarantee nyo. Okay? So, ngayon, how do you... Okay, sige, you have a goal. Yeah, this, this is what I want. Okay, yeah, okay, you sana is a good company. So, how do you earn that now? Okay? So, share ko lang basic ways. So, the first way is retail. Okay? So, <clears throat> if you like retail, you could earn siguro mga 500 to 1,000 pesos per product set. Right? So, okay naman yun. And ako, I'm not, you know, a big fan of retail. I just have, like, 9, 10 customers. I've been doing Isana for 12 years. So, hindi, parang ayoko magbenta-benta. Eh, bili kayo, bili kayo. Kasi, that's, that's a small income plan. Parang pwede ako magbenta na kailan. Diba? Kaya mas gusto ko yung mamayapakita ko sa inyo yung weekly commissions. So, ako, I have customers, couple of customers, and sometimes nadadagdag siya. Pero ngayon, I still share the products. Ngayon, to earn from this, uh, $3,850, di ba yung sell essentials? Ngayon sabihin ng iba, mahal. Mahal naman yan. Di ba ang tanong, compared to what? Di ba? Or, hindi yan mahal, mahirap ka lang. Di joke lang. Di ba? So, ito, the point is, um, yung quality ang habol mo. Eh. Para mo sinabing ganito, kasi sometimes, may nagtatanong sa akin, sino competitor niyo? And I was like, sabi ko, I don't want to sound arrogant but we don't have a competitor. You know, what do you mean? Di ba? There are lots of you know, vitamin brands out there na mga sikat. Sabi ko, yeah. Pero para mo sinabing ganito, 
Uh, competitor ba ng Toyota ng Rolls Royce? Parehas, kotse. Competitor ba? Hindi. Okay, ibang level ng Rolls Royce and Toyota. They have four wheels, but it's on a different beat. Ito yung sana is like the Rolls Royce of supplements. Diba? So, yeah, maraming supplements. So, anong gusto mo? You, wanna, you want a Rolls Royce or you want, you know, a Vios? Right? Yun ang difference niya. So, sabi ko, pinag-usapan na dito ito, katawan mo. Right? So, if you're gonna get everything na content ng yung sana, sabi niya, eh, mahal naman yan. Diba? It means you don't love your body enough. Kasi with 35 pesos a day, you get complete nutrition. Kung gusto mo kunin niya lahat, sige, ayaw mo sa'yo sana, you go to healthy options. <coughs> Kasi mas cool, healthy options. Diba? Sounds fancy. Diba? So you go there, you're gonna spend at least 300 pesos. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng contents ng Yusana, you buy it, makuha mo siya sa separate, separate bottles. Yan. Wala namang coenzyme Q10, yung co, co, ano, uh, CoQ10, wala naman yan sa isang supplement na complete na eh. Diba? And yun pa, hindi, far, hindi siya pharmaceutical grade. Hindi siya 96.1% bioavailable. Hindi siya clinically approved. Diba? Meron yung mga label na no-approved therapeutic claims. Diba? Food grade quality. So what you're sharing are supplements which are very high standard. The highest, science-based highest na siya. Right? So you can make a profit. Kaya kung meron akong friend, I say he's earning 20,000 a month. Hindi ko doon. Kung gagawin, titake mo to once a day. This is 224 tablets. Or 112 per bottle. Roughly three and a half months. So let's say kahit ibenta mo yun ng 3.5. Sa kanya. Ibenta mo, sige, ng 3, 3, 3, 4. Diba? Mabait ka, sige, 3, 4. Diba? Pero, magkano siya per month lalabas for that person? 1,000? 1, 2? Kasi 3 1⁄2 months? Sabi ko, sa 20 mil na kinita mo, pinagod mo yung katawan mo. At overtime, overtime ka, pumila ka, may pollution ka nilang half, everything. Wala ka malang decency, ibalik mo yung 1,000 na katawan mo. Parang, uy, thank you, ha? Nag-guess yung point? Nagtipid ka. Sige, bumali ka ng something cheaper na 600 pesos na. So, nakatipid ka ng 400. Yung gabi mo sa 400, dalawang Starbucks. Nag-guess yun. Yun lang naman yung matitipid mo dun. Dalawang Starbucks. So, again, the point is to educate them. Let them know na, hey, your body is important. Huwag ka maglalagay ng kung ano-ano. Diba? Ito, bayad ng rent sa katawan. Diba, meron nga isang na-meet na ako, downline, sabi niya, alam mo, mentor, may bumibili sa akin. Ano siya? Um, tricycle driver. Pero hindi niya afford ng isang buo. So, binibili siya sa akin per week. Kasi yun lang kaya niya, kung ano lang yung pasada niya. So, tinanong niya one day, sabi niya, kuya, ba't bumibili ka? Eh, marami namang mas mura. Sabi niya, kasi okay itong vitamin sa akin. Eh, mas mahirap na magkasakit. Kasi pa nagkasakit ako, hindi ako mamasada. Wala akong ingam. Pumuti pa siya. Diba, nag-iisip. Right? So we need to educate them. Don't take something substandard, especially for your body. Right? So, <clears throat> ngayon, weekly commissions. Ito na yung second. Now, this is where you could leverage. Ang negosyante kasi, kailangan magaling ka mag-leverage. Hindi pwedeng ikaw lang ng ikaw. At tawag doon, self-employed. So if you're focused on selling, you're called a self-employed person, not a business owner. Okay? Let's say, mayroon mayro kang tindahan, ikaw nagbabantay. Hindi negosyo ang tawag doon. Ang tawag doon, self-employed. Kasi pag wala ka na, wala na yung income. So with the second way of earning, you could leverage. Paano? So here's where you build a team. So when you build a team, let's say, meron kang left, di ba, and right team. So let's say sa left mo, may nag-sign up na user. Gusto niya yung product, so sabi niya, I want the discount, so nag-sign up siya. Kumbawa siya ng 500 points. So those points go up to you. Eh what if itong user nag-refer? I mean, itong pabangkin ko, kausapin mo, nag-gusto ng negosyo na to. Right? So, nag-sign up sa business builder, kumuha siya ng 700 points. Marami siyang gusto na products. Okay? Yung 700 na yun, di ba hindi mo siya kilala? Pero yung points niya, aakit ka user, and total nun, aakit sa'yo sa left side. So, for that week, for example, meron ka 1,200 points. Ngayon sa right side, nag-join itong supplier. Uy, gusto ko sige, game ako dyan, 500 points. Tapos, sa ilalim niya, kakilala mo din, nilagay mo sa ilalim niya. Kasi wala ka ibang paglalag yan. So, team effort. So, kahit hindi, hindi kilala ni supplier B, si D, aakyat kay B yung points ni B. Anyway, lahat yun, aakyat din sa'yo 100%. Right? 
So, nangyari, leverage. So, ang points mo sa left, 1,200. Points mo sa right, 1,000. So, how do we compute the commissions? Every Saturday, pag cut off ng 1.59 p.m. Uh, yeah, 1.59 p.m. Uh, Kukompute na niyo sana yan, times 20%. So, in this scenario, ang points mo, 1,200 left, 1,000 right. So, pasok ka dun sa times 20% is $200. So, 1,000 times 20% $200. So, may rank ka ang tawag nun, builder. Alright? So, you make 10,000 pesos, yeah, it's not great yet, hindi pa siya super laki, pero meron na. Diba? You're starting now, you have a team. Ano mangyari sa remaining points mo? Kasi 1, 2 yung left. Yung 200, carry over, hindi mo siya nagamit. So, next week, may 200. Diba? And then, count na ng points ulit. So, pag umabot na yan ng 2,000 left and right, $400. 3,000 left and right, $600. 800, 4,000 left and right, $800. And 5,000 left and right, $1,000 per week. Okay? So, pag nagawa mo yun ng four weeks consecutive, you're called a gold director. So, when you meet gold directors, they have earned $4,000 in a month. Grabe, no? So, that's 200,000 pesos. Okay, yun yun. So, ang goal natin eventually is to reach that level, 200,000 Okay? So, ngayon, yung iba sa inyo, um, so if you have questions, siguro sa part na to, you can type, I could try to answer if meron, uh, if we have time. So, itong week, itong um, one business center and three business center, important to, kasi some of you, you joined with one. Some of you joined with three. Anong difference? So, so one business center, let's say four people signed up. You got four people. And lahat sila, assuming they all got 500 points. So you have two people on the left, two people on the right. Let's say distribute natin equally. So 1,000 points left, 1,000 points right, times 20%, you earn $200. Right? So fine, good. One business center. What if three business centers? It's, it's going to look something like this. Right? So one, tapos yung left mo, two, ikaw din yan. Yung left, yung right, no, three, ikaw din yan. Ngayon, um, you know, you can plan it with your upline and pwede siyang i-distribute mo siya. Diba? So ngayon, four people, ano mangyayari? Same effort. Pero, yung zero to mo, mag-earn ng $100. Kasi 500 points left and right yun, so may $100. Yung three mo, may $100 din. Yung one mo, di ba lahat ng points aakit sa one? Right? So yung one mo, may $200 naman. So anong difference? With one business center, Four sign-ups, $200. Three business centers, same. Four sign-ups, $400. So times two yung income. So you definitely want to upgrade to the three business centers. I definitely do that. So how do you do it? Kung nag-start ka ngayon with, uh, let's say, 300 points in yung initial order mo, ang goal mo lang is within the six weeks, within the next six weeks, okay? Yung total purchase mo, personal, mag-400 points. So, kung 300 na in-order mo, within 6 weeks, order another 100. Automatic, upgraded ka na. That's it. You don't need to buy a new package para mag -release. Okay? So, kailan nag-start yung 6 weeks? Let's say you joined yesterday, Friday. First week mo na yun. Okay? So, you have 6 weeks. Okay? So, if you join after cut of today, after 2 p.m., okay, so first week mo to. Go. So, basta six weeks. Kung nalilito kayo, make sure you ask your upline. What if you join with two, uh, 200 points? Add another 200 within six weeks. So, paano yung utang ako ulit? Eh, utang ko doon 200? Hindi na. Diba six products yan? You sell those, bili ka ulit. Basically, parol mo lang siya. Baga na ng negosyo, rolling capital mo siya. Alright? So, can make sure you upgrade from one to three. Okay? Para mas malaki yung options mo to earn. Alright? Ngayon, ito yung exciting. This is our goal. This is our ultimate goal right now. Which is for you to hit this matching bonus. I love this bonus. Okay? Ano to? So, guys, maraming bonus sa iyo sana. Papakita ko sa inyo. So, number one, itong matching bonus, guys. You get 15% match sa lahat ng mga sponsor mo. Lifetime. Lifetime. So, you help them, you earn. So, paano mo kukunin yan? You need four sign-ups within 56 days. Okay? And total purchase nila, 1,600 points. Pero, that's say, 56 days, patagal yan. Actually, that's eight weeks. Right? So, 
if you're serious about the business, you need to finish it within two to three weeks. Okay, hindi 56 days. Kasi syempre, para mong sinabi, dapat ba kumita na ako agad? Oh, syempre. Diba? Hindi naman porket, oy, wala pa naman yung mga renta eh. Diba? So, okay na wala tayong, wala tayong income ngayon. Diba? So, kung traditional business, eh, may mga meral po, tsaka pa naman, eh, hindi. You need to earn fast. Right? So, here, you need to hit this immediately. Okay? Talk to your upline about this agad. Okay? Kasi it's a very, very big bonus. Mag-feel mo yan later on. And once mo lang siya i-hit. Once na. Okay? So, ano yung benefit niyan? Let's say, you got four people to sign up. And eventually, more than four pa, lahat ng ipapajoin mo. Lifetime. Okay, let's say for this example, apat. Si A, si B, si D, they're earning 400, 600, 200, 800 respectively. Okay, so, gagawin niyo sana, automatic, i-add na yan pagdating ng cut-off ng Saturday. So, magkano to? $2,000. 15% yan, magkano? $300. Bonus mo yan. Hindi sila babawasan niyo sana. Bonus mo yan for you helping them earn. In imagine, $300 bonus. Magkano yan in peso? That's 15,000 pesos in a week. If they earn that amount every week, in a month, that's 60,000 pesos. In a year, that's 720,000 pesos. In a year, bonus. Diba? Sinong gusto ng ganong bonus? Diba? About more than half a million a year, bonus mo pala. Right? Hindi mo na kailangan 13, 14, 15 month pay. No. Ito malupit. What if tulungan mo si C ng income lang niya $200? What if tulungan mo siyang kumita ng $1,000? Masaya siya? Yes. Masaya ka? Yes, lalaki rin yung bonus. Kaya nakita ko dito sa matching bonus, it's a helping business. You saan na-design this para tulungan mo yung mga tao pinasok mo sa business. Yung sabi ko, for sure, tutulungan ako nung nag-invite sa akin. Nyo, kahit kakaway mo invite mo rito, tutuloy mo siya. Kasi may bonus ka sa kanina. Gets nyo? So make sure guys, you talk to your upline about this. Okay, upline, ano gagawin ko? How many people do I need to talk to? I want to finish this in two weeks. May nakahagawa nito in four days. Three days. Kaya siya. Silly about your effort. Depende yan kung gaano mo pagusto makuha yung house, yung car, or whatever that goal is. Diba? Or that retirement, kung ano man yan. Okay, so okay, make sure you write it down. Okay, ngayon, another bonus. Okay, auto order bonus. Ito naman, two part. Ano to? So firstly, with the products that you got, di ba nakuha mo to, um, uh, 3 to 50, nung initial, initial order, you could get additional 10% discounts. Paano? Okay, sabi niyo sana, i-pre-order, para i-preset mo lang yung order mo. Yun lang. Okay, so sabi niyo sana, every month daw, to stay active in the business. Get three products at least. Bakit? So kasi number one, you use one. Magagamit ka ng vitamins for yourself if you're a family. So you use one. And then have two customers. That's it. Okay? Kaya ako, for the auto order, I just have like eight, nine customers and every other month they order. Yun lang, tatlo. Diba? So eh, kung may tindahan ka, sorry, 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 hindi na naman tatlo yan. Eh. Right? So yun lang yung goal. Ngayon, if you're gonna order three, let's say three sales engines, 3 to 50 times 3, 9,750. Pero, kung i-preset mo siya, how do you do that? Pumunta ka lang sa hub, sa website mo, pwede mo siyang gawin. Okay, pwede mo tawagan si Yusana to help you do that. Pwede mo i-email si Yusana or ask your app kung paano siya gagawin. Basta i-set mo lang. Let's say gusto mo yung orders mo the following week, i-set mo na ngayon pala. That's it. So, you get 10% discount, 8,775 mo siya. Right? So, makuha mo na lang yung vitamins yung bisa 3 to 50 to 9.25. So, additional retail profit. Right? So, kaya make sure sayang to. So, make sure iseset mo lang siya. Yun lang yun. Okay? So, make sure you learn how to do that. Sayang yun. Okay? So, <coughs> next naman, ito yung gusto gusto ko sa iyo sana. Right? Yung sa auto order din, you get repeat orders. And eventually, receive one income. Bakit? Pag bumibili yung mga tao na 100 points, let's say you slowly build your business. Okay? Slowly, you got you get two people, you help those two get two, you help those two get two, you help those two get two, and eventually, let's say, after a year or two years, okay? Meron kang mga 50 people left, you have 50 people left. They're all ordering for themselves or they're selling, whatever it is. 50 times 100, 
5,000 points lang. Okay? 5,000 points lang. Magkano ang income? Right? Di ba 5,000 left and right? 1,000 dollars. Plus, you get a bonus of 250 dollars. Question, ano ang ginawa mo dito para pagmita? Di ba repeat orders na lang siya? In short, para wala ka nang ginawa. Repeat orders siya. So it's like you build a business. Meron ko, let's say, pharmacy. Sa so una, meron kang pharmacy and wala pang may alam na, ay, may, may, meron ba doon? So ano gagawin mo? Kwento mo. Guys, bili kayo dito. Di ba? Or may pamphlets kang ibibigay. Di ba? Papakilala ka. Eventually, yung mga tao, kahit wala ka, alam nila meron doon, di ba, uh, pharmacy. Bili sila ng bili. O kung meron kang restaurant, same thing. Sa una, hindi ka naman oh, build ka, open ka restaurant. O kung nahuwi, restaurant na po. Oh, you post.